this is Stampy and welcome to part number two of my let's play on Stardew Valley. We are here playing on the Nintendo Switch and this is, it's my second video, it's day number three. I had one little sneaky extra day, uh, extra, day, extra day in between this episode and the last episode. Yesterday was sunny, today's rainy, but uh, forget that. Basically, I, I was trying to clear out this area. I thought like, you know what? I'll go and get rid of a bunch of the rubbish in my front garden, in my farm. And then in the next episode, I can kind of start really focusing on kind of getting to grips with what I'm supposed to be doing and stuff. And then I realized that it is energy. So in the bottom right hand corner, that went down because I was basically just chopping things down and stuff for, for ages. That's right, chopping things down. And um, yeah, I just got tired immediately. So I was basically awake for an hour and I just went to sleep because I was like, I don't know how to get my energy back up. Maybe eating food or something would help out. But like, let's do an experiment. So let's see what takes down my energy. So does using this take down my energy? Like, doesn't seem to be, but I think mainly using the axe. Ah, yeah. So using the axe takes down my energy. So what I think a good plan for today might be is I just want to plant something. I just want to plant something in my farm, leave it growing, and then I can kind of come back at whatever point when it's finished growing, and then I can go and harvest it all, and then, you know, hopefully sell it for some money. Like, I'm not gonna worry about setting up a real proper good farm yet. I'm not at that point. I just wanna, I just wanna just kind of work out how it, how it works. So let's go and just use my hoe. Uh, is this taking away my energy? Oh, it is. Okay, let's not let's not go crazy then. And then I got nine. I think these are turnip seeds. So uh, let's go and uh, and put these in a row down here. Okay, I can do four more of these. So let's go. Uh, oh no, wrong button. Excuse me while I get to to grips with the control. Oh no, don't put it in the bin. <laughs> right, one, two, and then let's go two down this side as well. Uh, and then let's go and just uh, start all of these things uh, growing uh, away. And then I guess I don't need to worry about watering them today because it's raining anyway. So that's jolly good. And what is what is this? What am I holding here? Uh, oh, sap. Oh, this is just sap I got from the, the trees. Maybe that's going to be used for something. I guess, it, I guess it is. And then what is what is this here? How do I see what things are? I guess if I go to this menu here. Uh, mixed seeds. Ooh, a little bit of everything here. Plant them to see what grows. Oh, let's do this separately. Let's just go and uh, let's leave a gap of one. And then this is going to be where my, my mystery seeds are planted. <laughs> it's going to be very exciting to see what ends up growing. So there we go. I am, I'm playing Stardew Valley and I am farming. I am planting things. <laughs> right. I also kind of worked out that this is kind of like a crafting menu. Uh, oh, is it this one? This one? Oh, I think, is this the crafting? I, I found a crafting menu. Oh, here we go. This is it here. Um, yeah, this one here. So I can make a, a chest because that's one of the big things I didn't know how to, to do was how to, to store my stuff. So should I put the chest down inside of here, do you think? Well, maybe, let's, let's pick, oh no, can I, can I pick this back up again? Uh, I should be able to, there we go, let's, let's put this as like my farming chest outside. So uh, I'm probably going to have a few of these, I'm probably going to have a bit of a, a storage area. So let's just go and put this down here for, for now, we'll be fine. And then let's throw things like, we keep the decorative bowl, uh, we're throwing the, the fiber, the sap, the wood, and the stone. And uh, let's make another chest now for the, the inside, oh. I just threw all my wood away, didn't I? <laughs> well, let's just go and cut down a, a couple more trees. I'm trying to, to not waste too much of my energy, but after this, I'm mainly going to be going into the, the town and kind of just meeting people. So that shouldn't take up too much energy. I don't know. Depends on the type of people we're meeting in terms of sometimes meeting people can take a, a lot of energy. You know, let's, let's, before we go in, let's see if I can make another chest. Oh no, I need, uh, I need 50. I need 50 to make a chest. That's quite a lot, actually. So let's just go and make the, the chest. I will get faster at these menus, I promise. It's just very new to, to me. You can definitely see that this game was designed for PC. Like, when you have, like, this virtual cursor and the way it jumps around, like, you'll get used to it and, you know, you'll be able to do fine. But you can definitely see where that was the, kind of where the, the game started. And, oh, it's a hidden chest. It's my, that's where I can put all my valuables, like my, my decorative bowl. <laughs> is hidden behind the plant. No one will ever know that it's there. So my energy didn't completely fill up when I when I slept, which is one of the things that, that kind of worried me. And oh, I got mail. Someone sent me, oh, it's an advertisement. Oh, it's just like real life, isn't it? I uh, I keep finding cool stuff, but but my backpack is full. Tell me about it. Does this sound like you? It does, actually. Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. 
See, you soon. Well, that is the first thing I need to do because, yeah, that, all of my stuff I can carry is just down there and half of it's taken up by my tools. Hello there, just back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. Uh, I've got something for you. Okay, jolly good. Well, I went down to the beach and then someone ran in their house, slammed the door behind them and locked it. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, hopefully I'll have a, a friendlier introduction with someone down at the, the beach. I doubt there's going to be too many people down at the, the beach on a, a rainy day like this. I wonder if energy kind of just gradually goes down when I'm just kind of out and about and walking and stuff. But where is the, the general store? Oh, is, oh, is this Willie's there? I can't tell. There's like, a, it's kind of covered up. Um, oh, is this like a calendar? Oh, 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 this is like everything that's happening. There's an egg festival coming up. Uh, Lewis's birthday. Oh, so many birthdays. God, they're, they're all having so many birthdays. <laughs> all in just this one month? How many people are there here? Right, looks like we're going to have to... I don't know, maybe I can pick up another shell or something for um, <laughs> for, for Lewis. Uh, closed on Wednesdays. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> is that the, the general... I think that was the general store. Oh, here's the, the saloon. This is where Emily works. I met her in the last episode. I don't know. I kind of went straight back in, in and out again. Yeah, let's go and uh, have a look in here and let's go and chat hello to, to this person. It's Gus. Hi there, Stampy. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Can I put something on the jukebox? Oh, look, I can pick the song. Cloudy country, settling, let's leave on settling in because that seems like a, <laughs> an apt name for a, a song considering that is exactly what I'm doing. But that's something I really wanted that backpack. Let's see who else we can, we can run into then. So don't think we've been in this house yet. Let's see who's here. No one, just walking in a stranger's house as you do. <laughs> We're all very friendly here. And oh, is this a cemetery? I think these are like, are these gravestones here? I'm not entirely sure. Oh yeah, it is. There's like a, a grave. There's not a church or anything. And then there is a sewer here as well. Let's uh, let's go and have a look in the sewer. Can I go in the sewer? Is it open? It's locked. Yeah, but they wouldn't make such a big deal of the sewer being there if I couldn't go down it later on. So could I cut down a tree here? No, I don't think it would let me. So it looks like I can only edit things that are on my farm. But yeah, the fact that the general store's closed has kind of thrown a... A bit of a, of a spanner into the, the works here. Well, let's go down to the beach then. I can't remember the name of the, the guy at the beach. Was that Willie who was down at the beach? I can't remember. But someone was down at the, the beach and they wanted to, to see me. So uh, let's go down at the, the beach and see if we can find them. Like some of that mail might have been from a different day because I kind of had my, my wasted day yesterday. So when it said like, come to the general store today, maybe that was today, yesterday, if that makes sense. But here we go. Hey, this is the the guy probably wanted to, to meet at the, the, the beach. Be good to get a fishing rod would be really handy because that might be a great way to get some money quick before anything's grown. Ah, oh, hi there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from this month out of the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Oh, can I have your old one? Here, I want you to have my fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Don't ask me about what the voices are, by the way. I don't know what the voices are. But look at that! I received a bamboo pole! Thank you very much, Willy. There is good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need any supplies. Also, buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. Ha ha ha! That's what my old puppy used to say anyway. We done? We good? End of conversation? Everyone's so nice, they don't even know who I am. And How long has Alex's ear been inside out and you didn't tell me? You look silly, Alex. Is your is her, look, <laughs> look, you got one ear poking up and one's inside out. Let me let me get that for you, Alex. <laughs> right, so I got the fishing rod. Can I just use this or do I need to get bait? I'm assuming I need bait. At all. I don't know. Well, I can use it without bait. I just don't know how much luck I'm going to get. Well, let's go for full power, shall we? Let's put... Oh, <laughs> it didn't really didn't really go out much further than when it didn't have full power, to, to be honest. And how, how does this work then? What does the... What's the fishing game here? Are we gonna see? Oh, oh, it's bobbing. Oh, I got a hit. Did I get it? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay, what are we doing? What are we? Oh, why? Why? And 
Oh, oh, okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, I don't know what I'm doing! Why up? Why down? Okay, so I need to keep this on here by the look- Oh, do I like tap it to try and keep the fish in the, the green bit by the looks of things? Or do I hold- Oh, did I get it? Don't know exactly what I was doing there, but it worked and I caught a fish! <laughs> it's a one inch sardine. Fantastic. The whole of a century. Oh, let's give that another go. Let's see if I can work that out. And oh, max distance. It really doesn't seem to, to make much of a difference. So my controller vibrated. That's kind of the, the big thing that gave it away. And seaweed! I mean, surely I can do something with the seaweed. It wouldn't, it wouldn't give it to me afterwards. I'm sure catching a fish would be a better thing for me to catch, but at least I got something. Right, I'm gonna really concentrate. So it looks like I, I literally just use Y. I was trying to like press Y and up and down. To, to try and move it, but I guess maybe I just kind of need to like tap and hold it uh, in different ways to try and work it out. And oh, did I get a fish? Okay, yeah, we're on, we're on, right. So I need to just keep tapping to keep the fish in the right place. As always, if you know what you're doing, feel free to give me tips in case I'm doing this wrong, but it worked! A 13 inch herring! Oh, this is good. I think this might be my my early way to, to kind of get a, a bunch of money then because yeah, growing the crops might be effective in the long run once I have like a, a whole field of crops that I can do it with. But like I'm going to have to spend a while waiting for all of the, the crops to, to grow. So for now, catching the fish seems to be a good way to do it. So I don't even need bait. I will go into the fish shop after this. I'm going to catch one more fish and then I'm going to go and head off. Uh, so I will go into the, the... Whoa! Oh, this is a speedy one. Oh, look at this one go. I'm not going to catch this one. What was that about? Right, forget it. I'm done fishing. Let's see if we can get any uh, any bait. And I'm also assuming that better rods will make that easier because that wasn't easy. So, um, is this buying? Uh, stout, oh, trout soup. Okay, looks like I don't need to buy any bait. So it looks like bait just isn't a thing. It looks like I can just kind of fish whenever I want. Also, I wonder if there's going to be a, uh, a difference between uh, salt water and fresh water to fish. And oh, what's going down? There's like... um. Is that like a wreck or something? I wonder if something bad happened down there. It's just like everything smashed up for for, for some reason. Right then, let's go and, uh, and head back. Oh, I am getting more tired. I wonder if that was from my fishing and all. Oh, here's uh, Lewis. So, how was your first night in the old cottage? It's good. Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. All right, let's go and head back anyway, because it looks like my energy might be gradually going down, just kind of by itself. And, uh... I, unless it was the, the fishing that did that. But either way, it's going down. So once it's kind of completely run out, it looks like I can't really do any, um like, proper, like, labor, I guess. And also it makes me walk really slow, which would just be really annoying if I'm kind of stuck wandering around town. So it's not even 6 p.m., but I guess I will be turning in to, to have an early night tonight. Let's have a look at the, the crops, how they're, they're growing. Not, <laughs> not much wriggling, not much changed on them so far. Let's just go and make the, um, actually, let's, let's save the energy I have because it doesn't completely fill up. So I want to, I want to try and work out food because I reckon that maybe food is going to put up my energy a bit as well. And I haven't really done much. And oh, I've leveled up. Uh, level one foraging, uh, one axe proficiency, uh, trees sometimes drop seeds, new crafting recipe, wild seeds, new crafting recipe, filled snack. Ah, field snack. Is that going to be the, the first food that I can make? Well, I got the fish, but I haven't really worked out how I can how I can cook them yet is going to be something I need to, to work out. I'm glad it doesn't tell me much. I was worried that, you know, my first hour of this game was just going to be loads and loads of tutorials. I'm glad it's kind of letting me kind of discover how to do it all myself. All right, I made a cup of tea to, to drink while playing and I just suddenly realized I forgot about it and I'd hate for it to get cold. <laughs> right then, oh, my energy's completely filled up. Oh, perfect. All right, let's go and throw away... Um, let's throw away the seaweed and the shell. And, ah, plus, uh, plus 18 energy and plus uh, 7 health. Okay, let's... Um, let's see, oh, I've got an oyster. I didn't realize I've got an oyster as well. Did I pick that up from the beach? So is there any way I can cook this? Can I cook it on the fire? I, I guess I can't just like flap the fish over the fire. Look, mom, I'm cooking, I'm cooking. Um, I, gu I guess I'll keep that on me and I might just eat it <laughs> a little bit later on if I need to. And oh, look, we've got progress. I, th I think these were turnips. Oh, I probably shouldn't walk over them. Um, can I Can I water them? Right, let's, uh, let's not water them too much because uh, I don't want to... 
I don't want to, to mess them up. But there we go. I'm watering them. I hope that you, you do get to invent some sort of automatic watering system because otherwise this might get really laborious trying to, to water all of these. And let's not forget my magic little mystery seeds down there. Let's go and, uh, and water them as well. So something else I did discover. Calm down, Alex. One of the things I did discover is over here, yeah, I was kind of... um. Just digging away all of this stuff here. And I noticed a few things. I noticed that there's a weird statue thing you can see up behind me. There's also a path. And then can you see the cave as well? Over there on the, the left. And oh, I got seeds. I got seeds from the, the tree. And oh, what's this place? Oh, there's like a, a wreck over here. Look, look at this. Did you see how quickly my energy went down then? Like I, I cut down a tree. A tree. A single tree. And like I lost, I don't know, what's that? Probably a sixth of my energy, if not more. That's crazy. But look. I wonder if I'm going to be able to, to rebuild this thing. I can't believe how big my farm is. This farm is absolutely huge, isn't it? It goes all the way over that direction. So this is good. It means I'm going to have a, a good chance to really make this place my own. So let's go and uh, let's go in order and let's just go and investigate all of these strange things that I discovered around here while doing a, a bit of tidying up at the, the same same time. So I don't seem to be able to do anything with this statue yet. It's got to do something. It wouldn't be there for, for no reason. So I guess we might have to, to come back to, to that one. Let's go and have a look up up here then. So that's the road that I reckon I came on, on the, the bus stop. Uh, is there a thing? Oh, my inventory's full already. I really need to get that backpack. That's what I should do, actually. Right, forget doing this. I'll go back and investigate that, um, the cave and up there in a bit. I want to go and get my backpack bigger. Let's see if I can do that. So um, I need to get some... Um, I probably might need to get some more gold, I would imagine. I should probably have sold some stuff. So let's just go and empty out all of this rubbish uh, inside of here. Uh, we'll keep my fish. I'll eat that a little bit later on. Let's just <laughs> run around waving it. The crazy guy who moved into the cottage that just runs around waving a fish above their head as they go. <laughs> Oh, I love that. And then, so I guess if I then went to talk to someone now while holding the fish, then that means I would give them the, the fish. But I believe this is PS here. I believe this is supposed to be the, the shop. Uh, nothing, nothing happening today. The next big thing is Lewis's birthday. So I need to get something good for, for him. And there we go. Why is the general store just not like open on Wednesdays? Why is, why, why is it closed on Wednesdays? That's ridiculous. Anyway, here is Pierre. So we have whole load of seeds so i've got the parsnip seeds already um bean starter uh plant these in the spring takes 10 days to mature but keeps producing uh blah blah blah, blah. potato jazz seeds grass starter sugar wheat flour rice oil vinegar flooring and get flooring a catalog where's the backpack where's the backpack you said about a backpack where's ah <laughs> the giant fossil and backpack here uh, backpack upgrade, 2,000 gold, 2,000 for a backpack, for a backpack. Well, that is outrageous, outrageous. I need to get some money. <laughs> that seems to be my first goal. So I'm not going to wander around town then, seeing as, um, yeah, there's just shops and stuff and I'm going to end up losing money. I need to get money. So selling fish might be the, the best way to, to go about it, possibly. How about we check out that mine? Because if, if that's a gold mine or something, then that might be all of my, my money woes gone already. Let's just see if I can fish down here, though. The good thing about fishing is I can I can do it one-handed. <laughs> I can just stand here like this and then I can drink my tea and then go fishing at the same time. I don't know how good my success rate for catching the fish would be while uh, while fishing, but I can just listen out for the, well, feel out for the, the vibrations and then pull it back. So I wonder if I'm going to get any fish in that tiny pond. I wonder if I'm just going to get like a, a little tiny goldfish or something. And I'm sorry, I'm not giving you enough attention at all. We got something. Did we get something? Oh, I think I was too slow. I was distracted by my corgi and I was too slow. You can't really see her properly. Let me see if I can... I can bring her up. So I know that a lot of you love being able to see the uh, the cute corgi in these videos, and I don't want to I don't want to deprive you of her uh, being able to to see Alex. But yeah, let's see if we can get some fish because I'm probably going to need some to eat myself, and then also some to bring back. No, I got trash. Brilliant. I got a bit of trash. Right, let's try one more go. Let's see if I can catch one. If not, I'm just going to go straight down to that cave. Because I did find that big cave in the last episode with like a, a proper minecart leading down to it and stuff. And soggy newspaper. I don't think I'm going to catch much good stuff from a <laughs> from my little pond by the looks of things. Oh, well, we're going to throw that stuff in there. Let's keep the, the sardine on us. Well, let's eat the sardine now. 
and let's see how much it it fills up my energy that was hardly anything that was like a tiniest little bit i mean it helped it was better than nothing but i think i really need to work out how to cook and prepare the food and oh not much in here what about using the pickaxe can i dig here is this doing anything my energy's going down i don't think this is doing anything though Hmm, I wonder if I'm going to be able to be able to tunnel in there better or maybe there's going to be a particular type of thing that I can plant in there or something. I'm not entirely sure how that's um, going to, to work though. Let's see, can I craft like a furnace or an oven? Wooden gate, uh, gate uh, the chest, the torch, um, the wild seeds, the filled snack. Oh, I need acorn, maple seed and pine cone. That might be useful. And then a bunch of paths and then a campfire. Provides a moderate amount of light. Okay, I just need a bit of wooden stone to, to make that. I wonder if the, if I'd be able to, to cook fish on that. I doubt it, but I might as well give it a go. Seeing as I'm kind of clearing out all of this stuff. Anyway, uh, I might as well just grab all of these things. I wonder if I can upgrade myself so that um I don't get as hungry or my energy doesn't go down as quick. That would be really handy if I was able to, to do that. Uh, let's just go and gather up a few more things. Is this enough to, to make the... The campfire? Not yet. I need more stone and more fiber. So let's go and grab a, a bit more of the, the stone. And I guess the, um, is, is it fiber? I, might, I can't be, it can't be fiber. I can't be reading that right. It, it, it surely didn't say fiber. <laughs> Whatever it says that I need. I might just have it inside of my, my chest over here. As soon as my, my energy is depleting rather quickly. And my inventory is once again full. So let's go and grab the... Um, uh, but it, it does say fiber, doesn't it? Okay, I think I am reading that right. So let's go and grab this stuff, and then actually I'm gonna have to empty something out because otherwise I'm not gonna have I'm not gonna have room in my inventory for the actual campfire. So there we go. Let's just go and place this down for for now outside the the entrance of my house. So when it becomes nighttime, I will be able to have it nicely lit up. Let's just go and do one quick experiment, just in case I can cook any fish on the the fire because uh, if i could that would be really really helpful oh, look, can i choose am i choosing the color of the chest i can oh look there we go that's going to be so good for like kind of organizing the the my inventory and like having different color things for different types of things that is going to be very useful so let's just do a quick experiment and see if there's any way that i can cook it i'm assuming that i can't but we'll give it we give it a go. Nothing? No, I'm just kind of turning the, the campfire on and off while waving around with my fish. <laughs> oh dear. So, yeah, I think I'm now really at the, the point where any suggestions would be nice. Please don't give me too much help so I know exactly the best way to do everything. So I want to discover things. But yeah, if you do have any advice just to, to kind of make my first few steps inside of the world of Stardew Valley easier, then let me know. If this is your first time ever watching Stardew Valley, then yeah, you can kind of join on and be oblivious like I am as we go through it. And oh, did I get something? I got a broken CD. I'm really not getting much luck inside of my little pond down here. Maybe I should go back and go fishing by the sea. But anyway, that is going to be the end of this episode here. I might have maybe one day just kind of gathering up materials and trying to maybe get some money so I can get the, the backpack for the, the next episode. But uh, yeah, apart from that, that's going to be the end of this episode here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!